so I, I moved here last year right around ACL, and uh, my friend invited me to this pregame at a real house uh, with, like, real adults, like, 45-year-olds, uh, and <laughs> and the house was owned by this couple, super cute couple. Uh, the, the wife was a successful dermatologist. The husband played pickleball uh, recreationally. And um, and I think they had kids because there were children's toys everywhere, which was weird because there was also cocaine everywhere. <laughs> and just to back up a second, I'm a very irresponsible person. Like, I for forget things. Um, I forget. Uh, oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget things. I don't even take responsibility uh, for being irresponsible. Like, it's, it's my parents' fault. <laughs> um, growing up, I, I didn't really have parental supervision. Uh, my parents were divorced. I lived with my mom. She worked a lot. Um, and I just I just remember getting into these ridiculous situations in order to get attention. And they happened so often that my friends would call them Tim Stiefler stories, not Tim Stifler stories. <laughs> no, Tim Stiefler stories. And, uh, and it's been a while since I've had a Tim Stiefler story. I'm a little bit less irresponsible. Um, like, I own my own business now. I have a dog that's uh, still alive. I own a toothbrush, um, but, uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, cocaine. <laughs> the successful dermatologist lady was in the corner grinding up a rock of pure cocaine. And uh, I remember looking at me and saying, you should get that mole checked. <laughs> also, do you want some farm to table cocaine? <laughs> and I was like, let me think about that for zero seconds. Yes. <laughs> and she passed me a rolled up Benjamin Franklin. I think I said something cool like, let's get it presidential. <laughs> And uh, with Bob the Builder staring me in the face, I uh, just, you know, scar-faced it. And uh, things got fast. Next thing I know, I'm at ACL, haggling with a scalper. I'm like 100. He's like 450. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, shut up. I'm like, goodbye. And the people I'm with are just like, you're really going to miss out on Shania Twain? I was like, wait, you guys are seeing Shania Twain? I am not going. She sucks. And they didn't like that. Uh, they walked away uh, after a little bit, and I felt good about my decision. I felt, I felt good in general, to be honest. Um, like, just pure Colombian pow-pow in my nose. And um, just to give you a sense of how confident I felt, like, if a bear was there, I would have fought it. And I would have, I would have won. I don't get if, if it was black, brown, grizzly. I would have fucked it up. If it was a movie, it would be like Cocaine Bear Two. I'm gonna turn you into a, a fur coat. <laughs> and I remember just like looking to my left and left and seeing this fence and thinking, I'm higher than that fence could ever be. <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm climbing up it, and I go over the other end and I land and I just think, Oh no, shouldn't have done that. Because I'm not in ACL. There's like this in-between part. It's like a dirt road. And there's uh, golf carts going by with staff on it. There's a, a artist buses. Uh, I'm Owen Wilson behind enemy lines. And I got porta potties on my six. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> but I head in that direction. And this uh, security guard sees me. And he's like, Where's your wristband? And I'm like, we're good. <laughs> and he's like, no, I need to see your wristband. I'm like, no worries, dude. 
And he's like, sir, stop. And I just start running. <laughs> and uh, he just tackles me immediately. And I get up, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm 34. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't, he wasn't having it. Uh, he brings me over to a police officer who puts me in the back of a golf cart to think about what I've done. And I just remember being like, I'm at peace. <laughs> like, like, I just accepted that I was going to jail and I was going to get out of it. I was going to figure out and everything was going to be fine. And in that moment, all I could think about was, man, I got to start doing cocaine more. <laughs> this is great. And then right to the stage to the left of us was the main stage I just hear. Ba, ba, na, 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 na. <laughs> and I'm like, I know this song. This is Shania Twain. I love Shania Twain. <laughs> like, I, I know I'm a boy, but in that moment, damn, I feel like a woman. <laughs> when she's saying uh, that don't impress me much, that, that impressed me a lot. Like, I, I perfected the art of uh, dancing without moving. And, um, like, I've been dancing this entire time. I don't know. Like, the cops noticed, though. The cops, they were like, we got to get this kid out of here. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm 34, but, you know, I get it. And they drove me out. And uh, when I got out, the, the cop turns around and looks at me and says, uh, please don't do that again. And all I could think was, wow, he said, please. <laughs> But I said, yes, of course, I'm not going to do that again. Thank you, officer, so much. Very sorry. But as I was walking back, all I could think was, I just got into ACL for free, got a VIP seat next to the main stage, and a personal escort out. I'm going to do that every fucking year for the rest of my life. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. <laughs>